Hey, <clears throat> how are you? My name is Donald Charles Minty Chuck. Uh, so today I want to talk about tobacco and about nicotine specifically. And, you know, I, I smoked for a long time. I smoked from seventh grade until I was 31, whatever that works out to be. And <clears throat> not only did I smoke, but I chewed Nicorette and I chewed Copenhagen and Skull and smoked a pipe and smoked cigars and did a lot of nicotine. I mean, that was it, right? It's all about nicotine. <clears throat> and I see people today vaping and chewing Nicorette. I mean, I have a friend in Salt Lake who's been chewing Nicorette for 20 years, you know, and, and she says, I don't smoke. I quit smoking. And it's like, the hell you did? You're still addicted to nicotine. And I see people vaping and vaping is like, God, the most dangerous thing out there, probably, you know, I mean, it's raw nicotine and polyethylene glycol, PEG for short, polyethylene glycol. It's the stuff that they use for uh, transdermal transmission of drugs, you know, um, and it's, and you're breathing it into your lungs. It, you know, it goes right through your skin. It takes whatever is mixed in with it and put, puts it right through your skin. And it's just dangerous as hell. And they're putting flavors in there. And now there's something called popcorn lung. That's all about, uh, it's, you know, a new issue. I don't understand it all that well, but it's something that they're discovering. And they're about to, you know, take vaping off of the market because it's so dangerous. You know, polyethylene glycol and raw nicotine and you're inhaling it straight through some vaporizer. I mean, and, and you know, people are talking about being put on the reduction plan. Like you start at some level of nicotine and then you reduce it over time. And it's, yeah, right. Like that ever happened. It's more like, hey, start me on a level of nicotine and six months from now, I'll be at 10 times that amount of nicotine. And that's what I see going on. Friends walking around, you know, tobacco, so I tried quitting a million times, you know, I did, I would quit, I would swear off and I would go buy a carton of Marlboro's and I'd, you know, smoke one and be disgusted and throw them all away and then go buy another one. It's insanity. It's addictive insanity. And, and at some point you just got to say no. And so I, uh, saw a movie. It was the Tin Men with Danny DeVito and Richard Dreyfuss. And, uh, so Frazier's dad, the guy who plays Martin Kane, Martin Crane, that old guy, was an actor in um, The Tin Men. And he was, they were siding salesmen in Baltimore. And he's pitching a siding sale in this couple's living room. And he's got a cigarette dangling from his lips. And he goes, and he keels over in the living room. He didn't die, but he had a massive coronary in the movie. And I had, you know, cold sweat run down my back in that movie. And I got up out of the movie and I walked out of the theater and I threw away two brand new packs of Marlboro's and a can of Copenhagen into the garbage can. And I haven't touched it since. And that was in 1987, May of 87. And I haven't touched nicotine since. And since. And so my point is, is that you can keep fooling yourself you can fool yourself and fool yourself and fool yourself into thinking that, you know, tobacco is the enemy and switch to Nicorette or vaping or some bullshit. You know, it's just bullshit. Nicotine is the enemy. Nicotine is what you're addicted to, you know, and if you're still using some source of nicotine, you're just fooling yourself. And, you know, your arteries are getting hardened every day. They, they get a little harder every day. Every time you use nicotine, your arteries harden up. They get less flexible, and it's terrible for you. And so my point is in this is that if you can muster it, walk away from it. You know, stop. Throw it away. Walk away from it. Never touch it again. Vow to never touch it again with all the earnestness you can muster and walk away from it. And you know what happens? I was blessed with a, some kind of uh, sinus infection that happened that same day. I went to a party that night. I was in Garmisch Partenkirk and working for the Armed Forces Recreation Center at the time. And I went to a party that night and I got some wicked sinus infection from hanging out with smokers in this smoking party. 
and I spent 10 days in bed and it got me through the hump. And then when I, you know, finally started feeling better, I uh, noticed that I was getting higher and higher as I detoxed off of nicotine and all the tars and crap in my body. As I detoxed off of that stuff, I started getting higher and higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. And, higher. and I've never come down. You know, that's the beauty of it. I'm still high. I've been, I've gotten higher and higher and higher and higher just from detoxing off of nicotine. And it's like, oh my God, you know, it was like having the top of my skull unzipped to the cosmos and, and, uh, really kind of fun, you know, it's really fun. And so, you know, I've, I've been thinking about doing this video for a long time and I wanted to do it. Um, hopefully I can help people just push through it, you know, get, just get sick of it. Get to the point where you're so sick of it and you know it's terrible for you and you just walk away from it, you know. Ask your higher power for some help. <laughs> like that's another thing. Yeah, now that I think of it, you know, I said, God, you smoke them for me. And he's been up there puffing away ever since. And, and that seemed to work. Um, in fact, it did work. Anyway, so uh, in Boulder, Colorado, this is Donald Charles Minty. Minty is M-Y-N-T-T-I. I go by Chuck. Hi. Howdy. How's it going? Uh, hugs to everybody out there and see you later.